to a new video and we are just opposite uh, Blackpool Plunge Beach Excuse me, I don't think I need to see you here Guys, welcome to a new video and we are currently opposite Blackpool Plunge Beach uh, We're just opposite the Helix so I'll just turn the camera around so you can see where we are Yeah, there's the uh, Helix so for the big one Nice when we start redoing all that retrap. Green often lasts for forever, don't you? For roller coasters, you think to yourself, oh yeah, they'll last for forever when you're younger, but they need to get replaced at some point. It's like Blackpool Tower, that's getting a complete refurb. There you go, visit Blackpool Illuminations on screen and uh, guys if uh, you know Blackpool well or if you've been seeing what's going on what is happening what is happening to this arcade here and that's just outside the main entrance yeah, it looks uh, it looks as odd if uh, the machines it looks like the good in the place. Are they changed it from an arcade to something else? Are they going to make it into a souvenir shop or something for on the way out for guests to go in? Or are they going to make it into a souvenir shop that some people that don't go on the park can walk through it? There we've got the uh, prom units. There we've got the prom going by. Off to Fleetwood Ferry. Then we'll cross over. Try and get a close look. You got a poster there for Nickelodeon Land. So if there's a poster there, have they changed this one from uh, Beauty and the Beast? Nope, that one's still up, Beauty and the Beast. Probably won't change it till. These are starts up properly. Yeah, we've got Travel Lodge just over there in the distance. Sign looks a bit bleached out though. But you can, I mean, sorry, not bleached out, a bit weathered. Other thing is though, you can't go changing signs just for the sake of it. got sank off the water park. I was thinking slides I don't even remember from when I was a kid. I'm sure at one point all that, all that wasn't there. Yeah, we'll carry on up the prom and see what's going on. Yeah, here, here we've got the velvet coaster. All lit up. I've got the South Pier coming up, which we'll take a closer look at. Yep, yeah, here's uh, South Pier. but I don't think you're allowed to walk on. Got uh, bubbles over there. Uh, 
It looks like they're redoing that building there, that uh, little outhouse building. This here, which I'm never sure what it was actually for. I think it's something to do with the illuminations. But it's always there all the time, it shuts us down. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll take a close look at this scene, shall we? Because it doesn't look too bad even though it's windy. Yeah, it doesn't look all that bad to be fair. It does not look bad whatsoever. Got a few people on the beach there. A few people a bit further up. It's actually pretty quiet. Got Queen's Hotel over there. No, just one car on the car park. And we've got the Viking Hotel there. Oh, it's quite busy. Yeah, you never get tired of seeing these views, do you? So it's nice to have a good weekly walk. And even a weekly bike ride. I'm hoping to, uh, I'm going to give it a break today from biking, but I'll probably do some more biking next week. So I might go over there and see what they do for coffee. It's been a while since I've uh, had McDonald's coffee. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, so I ended up getting the uh, Galaxy Caramel Latte. So uh, go to taste test. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. That. Sweet it up for you. They do do a uh, Galaxy Caramel Hot Chocolate. 
I got asked if we wanted sugar. I don't know what sugar is, so it's not so really sweet and I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Uh, some action going on already this morning. Two police events just in front of us. I just uh, for uh, blue fossil lines there. And then there's one directly behind it. It looks like to me they're actually uh, outside a hotel. But we'll try and take a closer look anyway and uh, see what's going down. caramel syrup was at the bottom and uh, it didn't taste like it was mixed in properly so at the top you could taste like mainly coffee I'm not liking it though, it was actually nice yeah we'll uh, continue walking along the promenade and see what's going on in March though, when Hush Beach opens up hopefully the prom will be a little bit busier and a bit more lively a bit more livelier however you pronounce it so hopefully there will be more people walking about See the same sights pretty much every day if you live here. You still can't be in it. I suppose this time in the morning though you should I make mean, most of it don't you? Oh look at all, look at all that stuff that is. Time's boring. That massive tree logs and everything like that. People have a bike ride on the problem today. 
So it's nice if uh, bike rides are held on the bottom half. It really is. I mean, you get all this space to yourself, pretty much. Yeah, look at the size of that one down there. Makes you wonder how, this, what, how the sea can even bring that into shore. I mean, size of it, Jesus. Thing is, though, is it actually somewhere in the UK, or is it like from Ireland or something like that? Just don't know, do you? Central Perrin distance. Yeah, it's the first weekend in February. Normally, Pleasure Beach would actually be open this sort of time of year. But for some reason, it's not. I think it's because they're trying to get the big one ready, so they've uh, prolonged the opening times. Or they're prolonging it, so then they can do the retrack on the big one. Yeah, normally this time of season they would be open by now. That game February is a bit hit and miss. Because it's still got that chill feeling to it. Not a lot of people would be going on to the theme park when it's blowing a gale and it's still cold. <clears throat> There we go, we've got more map. I mean, there's even more cyclists here. I was expecting more than behind me. Yeah, look at the size of that log down there, that big peak. I can't exactly see it. It's definitely there anyway. Yeah, one day I'm going to have to bring my dog Jack down here. He loves this walk, especially going up to all the Sparkle Tower. He would love it. Poor pal. He probably loves going on the beach and all, to be fair. I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, there's a big lock right there in distance. Cycle along the front, it's all well and good and everything. It's 
especially if you can push yourself to that distance. Also, for me, I can definitely uh, feel it on my waistline. Yeah, I always seem to go out this time on a Saturday or Sunday because my wife's working every weekend so with me being out it gives me a chance to go out and do some videos. I think that's like a jetty down there but it's been washed away. And it's covered in sand. But if you use clear all that sand, you probably find it that uh, jetway or whatever that it's called. Whatever the term terminology is for that. how many cyclists you actually see. Look at all this muck around here. Looks like sand. How does it go up there? I don't know. They've uh, respected around that. Peaceful it is at the moment. It's amazing. It really is. Yeah, we're nearly at the central pier. As much as I'd like to walk underneath that, I won't. See that they're getting everything ready for the uh, 2024 season. Look at that seagull there, just waiting. It's watching its back. Oh, it's walking away. No, it doesn't like me going near it. Going back to when I said that nothing lasts for forever, it's like the piers at some point they're going to need some uh, restoration work. Because there's still legs holding the pier up. They'll eventually need to either maybe get replaced like section by section, possibly or they'll have to treat them every so often because they're not going to last so forever they'll start corroding away unless if it's 
thought about it back when they built it and thought to themselves like we need to make it out of some steel that will last for quite a long time so I'm not sure when these pits were originally built but I'll tell you something when they built these pits I bet they did have, they wouldn't have had the machinery like we do this day and age considering so we've got the machinery this day and age now you could probably build a pair in about maybe well depending if the weather's on your side if you can get up the same place you could probably have a pair built in about uh, um, maybe a couple of months maybe about eight months or something once you've got all the applying permission and all that all together and you're ready to start building it and you've got all the materials to go in place probably wouldn't take long this day and age compared to what it would have done back then you know what I mean I mean don't get me wrong it'll probably still take them a couple of years to build a pier from scratch but it wouldn't take them as long now compared to what it would have done back then Back then, that must have taken them. Must have taken them a long time. I don't know the exact date, so. Yeah. We are now at the central pier. There's a big wheel. Got Golden Mile gifts and souvenirs. Something that I've never actually uh, bothered looking at. to go and have a look here. I think I had to mooch about to visit because they don't live in Blackpool. <laughs> I visit right lot, but considering I live in Blackpool, I'm a bit like, yeah, what's the point of me buying something if I live here? <laughs> yeah, look where I am. There's me, uh, you when you're falling. Yeah, we uh, just had some random two sides. Join the heroes. The thing is though, they are seriously, seriously lifelike. Got Peter Rabbit here. Got what looks to be a sweet shop here. Fish and chips in, we've got amusements. Seal our centre coming up. I got this as well, the Gruffalo Clubhouse and Friends. No, the Gruffalo and Friends Clubhouse. Right, let's do it, Seal our centre. I think. No, it's not. Something completely separate. I 
got to the ice centre. Uh, we've got the Golden Mile Amusements Arcade. Now we've got Coal Island here, and in the background we've got the tower, which uh, has definitely got scaffolding up in the lift shaft because they're currently doing a refurb on it. About 11 million pounds worth of refurb. So yeah, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Well, thank you for Coal Island for being where you are. I still do not look on that. And there's McDonald's in town centre. That's still undergoing from the work. Okay, we'll look in between here. Sports Direct building. Pretty sure it used to be here, Sports Direct. It did. <laughs> but now it's in House Hill. <laughs> but they have got a lot of spoons here the Albert and the Lion. We'll just head towards the comedy carpet. I mean, yeah, now Christmas is all over with. I suppose. Does it actually look all that bad? around here. This just after Christmas I was like, oh, it looks a bit of an empty way of space, but now everything's back to normal, you got all your chairs back around where they should be. You got the tower right there. One thing, I'm going to have to go up there. That'll just be, ooh, <laughs> yeah. That'll just be uh, an opportunity to go up. I think you'll probably see me crawling on the ground like, I want to get down. No, hopefully that won't happen and I'll be able to get some amazing views on camera. But I'm not posting where it's going to be. Could be this year, could be next year, could be the year after that. Oh, it might be never. But at some point, I will. Uh, I will try and get off that. <sighs> See, at the moment, we've got Blackpool Amusements opposite us, and we're going to have a walk up here to the nightclub area. 
good drive through last night through town to be fair and there are quite a few people out and about I think it's mainly locals that are out well that were out anyway and this as well here from half ten till six o'clock is bike, bus or taxi only so between half ten and six o'clock you're allowed any vehicle down there half ten you should be alright and any time after six o'clock yeah six o'clock I suppose it'll start quieting down a bit that's the uh, bus gateway cross over here happy hour cocktails oh my god an underground bar I uh, think that is revolution I've never actually been in here before. I went in where it used to be Brannigan's. That's going back years. But I've never been in since they've uh, changed hands. is starting to get ready in preparation I think for 2024 this was open last night got Yates's here that's a good location for Yates's Get rid of the one down South Shore. So I'm mainly concentrating on the town centre. Now we're just opposite North Pier. There's something about Roy Trubby Brown, we'd have to have a look at that. Be interesting to go and watch it. Here we've got the back of Pop World. Pop World's a good place to go drinking. It doesn't get overly busy, especially if you go out on Friday. You 
can have a half decent night. But around here we've got Soul Sweep. Oh, they've taken the uh, scaffolding down from Walkabout now as well. So up there they've got a balcony. Where you can sit outside for a couple of drinks. Food hygiene rating five. Some more food here. Yeah, they've got a uh, they've got netting up there as well. So if you're on that out, you're probably going to be safe. There's only up there. Be nice to go in there one night, maybe, and walk around to see what they've done. Yeah, they've got pop pools around here. They've got trilogy. That's the back of it. Fast food place. Ah, oh, food hygiene rating five. Yeah, that's not too bad. the back of the uh, Chinese. We open East in 2024. They've got a tower right ahead of us. And then we've got Trilogy Nightclub just here. subscribe don't forget to hit that ding dong notification bell and i'll see you all in the next video so uh catch you next one